before I could play the piano, when I started um, trying to play it when I was a teenager in church, I don't know, it's probably 15, around, going on 15 or around 15, and um, couldn't play it all. I've never had lessons, but I used to sit and watch uh, Jeannie Patterson and Linda DeWaters at altar call, and I sat right behind the piano in church on the first pew so I could watch. And, and um, I wanted to play so bad, so bad. I, I can't tell you the years or the months and months and hours that I tried, just put my hands on the keys and tried to play and ask God to show me how to play. And um, it was a long, long journey, long journey. But um, God actually granted my petition, my prayers, and um, I started out slow. I started playing um, a fast song. Actually, the first song I ever learned to play was, um, I think He's Alive, because it was just easy. The chorus was in key of A, and then I learned to play Power in the Blood, and I wore those two songs out to death practicing them. And tried to play slow. I could not play slow for nothing, because the coordinate, hand coordination was so hard, but um, I used to go, Brother Mailer gave me a key to the church, and um, I literally would go there on some nights and um, a lot of Saturdays and just sit and try to play and just put my hands on the keys and cry and ask God to bless my hands and show me how to play. And it really was a long, long road and a long journey. And um, I was thinking of that this morning when I... I was sitting in the living room and I thought, let me go play the piano for a little bit because I don't do music in the church anymore. And um, when I was playing uh, One Less Stone this morning, I I remembered, it was like I had deja vu of when I couldn't play and I wanted to play. And um, I just thank God for his blessings and for giving me that talent and for the years that he did allow me um, to use that gift and um i i still try to utilize it um with youtube and vid um facebook post um but um anyway i've been trying this song for about a week and a half and i want to do this song i used to sing it all the time i used to sing it in b flat but my voice is changing so um, b flat is really high so I'm going to try to lower this to, uh, down a key to A flat and uh, see if my voice will get through it today. I'm going to do this.
really have enjoyed playing the piano. Um, I'm, I'll be 60 this year. So I attempted this journey when I was 15. And um, by the time I was 18, my pastor at the time, Brother Mailer, um, just threw me into everything. He, he said I had to play for the choir and the soloist and um, all, all of the stuff like that. And um, playing for the choir um, actually changed my style of playing. I, I used to play a little bit more country. And when he threw me into playing for the choir, um, the church also paid for me to go to Jackson College of Ministries um, um, Song Fest, where they, uh, Lanny Wolf used to teach, I think it was 10 or 15 songs um, for the week, and um, they would, the choir would perform them. And then it gave me opportunity to go, the classes were above my head, but um, it gave me an opportunity to go to a couple classes that really helped me. And one of those classes was Dan Dean's class. And he um, is part of Phillips Craig and Dean group. And he taught a class, it simplified it and I loved it. And I used to have a sheet and I wish I would have kept that sheet, but I think I got rid of it during our divorce. But um. And he just laid out a sheet of how to find different chords, difficult chords, you know, and um, he, he just laid it all out in the key of C and then gave an example of how to find it in other keys. And that right there changed my style of playing. And our choir at the time started uh, singing some of the Jackson College of Ministry songs. And the first song that really, really changed my um, playing was um, Stand on the Rock. JCM did it and I could not play that song for anything it was so difficult because the chords changed so much you know um it, you didn't just hold it out it it changed almost every word it was just extreme difficult and I cried over that prayed over that finally got that one down and that's really when my style of playing changed was when I took that Dan Dean class and start playing those Jackson College of Ministry songs. And uh, Tim McPhee was a choir director at the time. And it was a struggle to play those. And I found an old um, cassette tape of the Full Gospel Church Choir that I'm going to record some of those and put them on my YouTube channel. So you can kind of hear what our choir sounded like. And I actually was playing the piano back then. Uh, Gene Patterson used to play the piano for the choir. Um, and then for whatever reason, I, I was just pushed into that um, that ministry, and that's really when I really took off. Um, eventually, I, you know, married, became pastor's wife, and did all the music in the church, but um, did a children's choir, a junior choir, and an adult choir. And uh, then when we moved down south, I, I did the same and played for all the soloists, and then I was uh, put into, um, asked to do the... Uh, <clears throat> junior camp choir for the for Alabama state of Alabama for UPCI um, and then I did the uh, senior choir also um, for a while and it was rough I was I was rough when I first started but then I got better and I did that for a couple years and then um, brother Lewis asked me to be part of the um, Alabama state choir um, with four other directors, and um, I enjoyed doing that. I didn't do a whole lot with that. I got to direct a couple songs. They sang one of my songs that I wrote, um, Song of Praise, or <clears throat> Blessed Be the Most High God, and um, those those are on um, my YouTube channel. Um, I, I have um, many songs that I've wrote, probably over 200 songs that I've written. I made one CD, uh, cassette tape, um, and CD project of my songs. It has 10 of my original songs that I wrote. Those are all on my YouTube channel. And um, I've sang a few of the other ones, but I haven't professionally recorded them. And I need, I, my goal is to get all of those recorded before I lose all of this uh, ability to even sing um, and play. But um, anyway, I just thought that's a little bit of my background. And I've been trying to do this song all week and um, I wish I had the strength, vocal cord strength that I used to have when I was younger, but as you get older, those things change. So anyway, have a blessed Saturday and I hope you enjoy this.
song that I did in this little short testimony and just never give up. If you have a desire for a gift and you ask God for it, keep trying. I mean, you can't just ask and it's going to pop on you. You actually have to try. You actually have to put forth the effort to practice. And I spent many, 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 many hours not being able to play and just sounding out a song with one key. And then finally I started courting a little bit and, and it took a long time for me to learn that, but God did, <clears throat> he saw the desire of my heart and he truly did give me the desire of my heart to play the piano and the organ. I love the organ, but I don't play much. My goal is to play the church organ when the grandkids get a little bit older. Cause I feel like my ministry now is, watching my grandkids on the pew while my daughters and daughter-in-law does the and son-in-law does a music ministry I would love to help out you know and have a full music up there and I love 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 the Hammond organ and that's sitting up there in every service I look at it and one of these days I'm gonna be back up there when these kids get old enough to not have to be watched on the pew but anyway have a great Saturday